This video provides a brief tour of the main Rockworks screen. Be forewarned, this is a fairly dry presentation without any cool graphics, so you might want to pause the video now and get a strong cup of coffee. We'll start by describing the six main regions within the main Rockworks screen. These regions are the Vertical Utilities and Borehole Manager tabs along the left edge of the screen, the Main Menu along the top of the screen, Project Folder located just below the Main Menu, the Project Dimensions area located just below the Project Folder, the Main Data Entry Management region that takes up the lion's share of the screen, and the Project Manager strip located along the left side of the screen. Now let's revisit these regions in more detail. The Vertical Utilities and Borehole Manager tabs located along the left edge of the screen determine everything. By everything, we mean that the main interface completely changes when either of these tab buttons are selected. Rockworks is, in a way, two different products. The utilities represent dozens of programs that read and process data from a simple data sheet, like what's shown over here in the main body of the screen. The Borehole Manager, on the other hand, is an integrated suite of applications that process the data within a relational database, which in turn is structured around a borehole paradigm as shown by the region within the main body of the screen. So when you toggle between the Utilities and the Borehole Manager by pressing these tab buttons, you're essentially switching between two different suites of applications. So why don't we just split these into two different products? Well, it'll become apparent later. You really can't have one without the other. It's a yin and yang thing, trust me. The main menu at the top of the screen changes if you toggle between the Utilities and the Borehole Manager. If you're in Utilities mode, the main menu lists items that are germane to the Utilities. If you're in Borehole Manager mode, the main menu lists items that are related to the Borehole Manager. The Project Folder line, located just below the main menu, is where Rockworks expects to find your data. If you click anywhere on this line, you'll be prompted to select a folder that will contain your project data. We strongly encourage you to store all of your project data in the same folder unless you feel an overwhelming need to make your life unnecessarily difficult and frustrating. The project dimensions show the coordinates for the area that you're working in. By specifying the dimensions of your project area in one location, we can be certain that all maps and models based on this project will have the same dimensions regardless of the actual extents of the different data sets. There's also a tab within the project dimensions area where you can specify the UTM zone that you're working in. If you're working with a small computer monitor, you might want to uncheck this box labeled display project dimensions in order to gain some more real estate for working within the data management portion of the screen. To redisplay the project dimensions, just recheck the display project dimensions box. The main data entry slash data management area changes with the mode that you've selected. If you're in utilities mode, this region will look like a spreadsheet with rows and columns. We call it a data sheet because it lacks any of the embedded formula capabilities that a real spreadsheet like Excel has. It's just for general ledger style data management. If you're in borehole manager mode, this region is a bit more busy because you're looking at the interface to a complex relational database that is used for managing just about any type of downhole data. And finally, we come to the project manager. This is the vertical strip located along the left edge of the screen that provides shortcuts and a listing of the data that is contained within the project folder. As you move the cursor over some of the files, such as the 2D and 3D diagrams, the program will display a thumbnail preview showing the contents. Again, if you're working with a small computer monitor, such as an Apple iPod, Droid Phone, or Amazon Kindle, you might want to hide the project manager by clicking on the tiny minus button located right here. If you need to see it again, press the little plus button located here. So those are the major regions within the main Rockworks screen. By the way, I was just kidding about the iPad, Droid, and Kindle. Rockworks only runs on Windows XP through Windows 7 compatible platforms. Thanks for watching.